Good Monday, November 8th, 2010. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. In China, Internationally renowned artist Ai Weiwei, designer of the 2008 Beijing Olympic Stadium, was threatened by authorities this weekend to stay at home instead of attending his own Hexi River Crab picnic party to celebrate the ordered destruction of his new art studio, which local Beijing officials encouraged he build in the first place over two years ago. The government is not explaining their intentions, so the party went on without Ai, crab and all. In Japan, no significant impact on the Shanghai crab vending machine market is expected. The crabs are kept chill just a few degrees above freezing in a state of calm hibernation, seemingly unaware. In the US, a new project of Boston's MIT, Between the Bars, is designed to help prisoners blog from jail through snail mail. Designed for the 1% of US citizens in jail routinely denied internet access, the program enables prisoners to blog by scanning letters. Ai Weiwei and incarcerated crabs need not apply. Also in the US, in last week's midterm election cycle, all 95 candidates who pledged support for net neutrality lost. In Canada, Netflix launched its on-demand streaming service two weeks ago, and already a staggering 10% of the entire nation's internet users have visited the site. This is no surprise. After recent reports suggest Netflix alone counts for over 20% of all non-mobile US internet bandwidth use during primetime hours. In Norway, where oil is plentiful and life expectancy is 81 years, the people of fortune top the United Nations list of best quality of life in the world. Let's check in with our NetBot field correspondent in Norway now. Cam? Happy people there. Which reminds me, Obama is in India today. We're pre-recorded live right now. The scene we're seeing here in Delhi, I'm told, is nearby the palace where Obama is expected to visit later this afternoon. In Africa, things are not always as small as they appear to be. You know, there are lots of ways to map the Earth, yet our recurring use of the Mercator projection has far-reaching psychological effects on how we perceive the world. So let this be a reminder, if it's not already unclear, that Africa is the size of the United States, China, Japan, India, Mexico, and all of Europe combined. If all misfortunes were laid in one common heap, whence everyone must take an equal portion, most people would be contented to take their own into part. At least that's what Socrates and I always used to say. If you can't dazzle them with brilliance, baffle them with bull. That's what W.C. Fields and I always used to say.